right, Toronto? It's Monday, off to meetings. It's supposed to be spring. I'm wearing my winter jacket, showing my legs, as you can see. I'm heading to this really cool meeting at a place beneath the Tiff Bell light box, which is really cool. Blah, I'm leaving my hair. And uh, day one of vlog four. Let's go. <laughs> okay. So I have big news that I've been wanting to share. I've been holding it in right here. And now I'm very happy to reveal that I am the 2016 award recipient of the Harry Jerome Media Award. I'm so, so, so excited. So I'm all dressed, ready to go. It is actually the media day, media launch. So we are going to be revealing and be revealed to the public as the 2016 winners. And I'm gonna take you along. Mm, I'm so excited. And I decided on this outfit for the media reveal for today. I'm wearing my Hermes Birkin. Just a little uh, skirt number, dress number, I guess, with shorts underneath. Louboutins. PJ Glam Curl up here. The necklace. And just some soft curls. So I'm on my way to the BBPA, which is uh, downtown Toronto, kind of around a street called Elm Street. Uh, anyhow, heading there now, and I just want to show you I'm wearing my PJ Glam Girl jewels. For those of you who don't know, I have my own shop online, pjglamgirl.com. Check it out. So here we go. We're walking in. I brought my mom, who's my number one supporter. Ooh, I see city. <laughs> it is the media release after all. Let's see what they have in store, right, Mom? Yep. So excited! Okay. <laughs> Here's the BBPA. What I've done with my career is I've broke down barriers and I'm elevating and with that I feel like I'm inspiring the young generation and I feel like I am a especially, you know, a colored ethnic woman, not just a black woman, but a colored woman that all races can look up to and aspire to become. Wow, you really shine. Thank you. Okay. Hi. Behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look. Harry Jerome Award acceptance speech. Here we go. <laughs> you know this is going on there. <laughs> <laughs> and you're on my channel. Hi, Brian. Hi, <laughs> Hi, I'm Patricia Jagernoth, and I'm honored to be receiving the Harry Jerome Award for media. Uh, as far as it comes to where I am today and why I'm so proud to be acknowledged is really in the journey. Uh, they say the journey is the lonely part, the destination is where you find all of your friends, but I found that on my journey. I've made so many contacts, I've made so many friends, and I persevered through the struggle, through the racism, through the prejudice, and I feel now I have broken down barriers. I always tell the kids when I go back into the schools, I speak at very many schools across the Durham, Peel, uh, Catholic District School Boards, and the public school boards as well. My speech is always breaking down barriers. And the reason why I'm here today and so honored to accept this award is because I broke down the barriers. Yes! Yes! <laughs> who's helped you on your journey to greatness? On my journey to greatness, it's been my mother who's helped me. It's, been, it's my mother who continues to help me. She's in the room right now, and she will be here tonight as I accept my award. My mom and I, it was just the two of us growing up. My father wasn't in the picture, honestly still is not in the picture, but I am surrounded by love, so I'm not a girl to feel sorry for. Uh, my mom had me at a very young age. She was pregnant at 16 and had me at 17. So to even think at that young, tender age, your life's just beginning to bring another life into this world, I thank her every day for 
deciding to keep me. And I hope that on this journey of greatness towards my greatest, that I make her proud. Award. I mean, it's amazing to be honored by the at the Harry Drew Warm Awards. So tell us, Patricia, how does it feel? Oh, I'm really excited. And it's amazing to be acknowledged by the community, of course, from the BBPA. And, you know, I'm just on a journey of elevation. I'm on a journey of breaking down barriers. And again, to be acknowledged uh, for my career where I am today, working at CP24, allows me a platform to, you know, be in the public eye on a mainstream level. And I know that I'm inspiring, especially the youth. Because I remember when I was younger, honey, there was no one to look up to in the industry. So right. I hope that I'm serving as that. So I'm excited all around. This media, this media award means a lot. Patricia, how did you know that this was your calling? And how did you know I am going to be media? And how did this journey start for you? <laughs> That's a hard one because, you know, I didn't know. Not from the beginning. I definitely did not know. I thought I wanted to be a lawyer. I thought I wanted to be a doctor. I thought I wanted to be a police officer. And so, you know, you go to school and you're, you kind of are learned to go into those trades. Right, right. Uh, you know, you're taught to go into those trades. And as for me, it took me a long time. I kind of did dabbled in the pageant world uh, because my mom, it was just my mom and I from a single parent home, couldn't afford post-secondary education and I didn't want her to pay for it. I wanted to do it for my mom. So I went to different outlets to get fi finances, right? Um, bursaries and whatnot. That, it wasn't easy, I gotta tell you. Very excited to have all of you here tonight to recognize 15 individuals who are doing such a great job in our community. My name is Michelle Richards. And Patricia is the bright and cheerful television personality, many known as weather specialist and re report, sorry, reporter for CP24. I can't, I'm so intimidated. Don't <laughs> 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 Toronto's breaking news, <laughs> Patricia joined CP24 in June 2011 and has gained mass popularity among the 1.5 million viewers who tune in daily. Patricia, please join me on stage. <laughs> Guess where I am again? That's right, Cripper's hair. Nola. Yes, Patricia. We are here on our hair journey. That's it. Hair on the hair journey, honey. I like that. Well, this is my favorite part, as you guys all know. And I'll take you through the process. I'm losing my train of thought. And we, this is the part that takes the longest. I'm under the dryer. We do it here as this type of dry heat is less harsh on the hair. We section my hair off because I do have wets. So we section my hair off into pieces and I'm drying this bottom wet first. This is what takes the longest in the salon. Probably under this thing for 30 to 40 minutes. It's all worth it though. Results coming soon. Hi everyone, this is Nola at Grimper's Hair. And this is Patricia. Come down and visit us. <laughs> <laughs> and this loves is the final product. What do you think? Long hair flowing. You can see it over there too. <laughs> this is how it looks from the back. Nice and long. Like so. Crimper's hair. I decided I'd get a glass of wine and... Who's making another appearance <laughs> on the vlog? Meet with my Sergio, TuxedoSergio.com. Cheers. Cheers. Big glam girl. Oh yeah. Okay, you guys don't understand. He's working on something so epic. And I am going to reveal it to you on Friday. Do you want to give them a little tea, Serge? So, Toronto's only 
five star and five diamond hotel is going to work with me in down the downtown area and then also one of your favorite international red carpet designers. Oh! Both collaborating with me together on this project. So exciting! And maybe I'll try on some of the designs. What do you think? Of course. Hey. That's, that's the whole point, right? Okay, what's our word? <laughs> Y'all! Stay tuned! Gorgeous Morocco chocolate, chocolate, so chocolate, <laughs> chocolate, Morocco chocolate. So we have pistachio, Oreo, Nutella, Nutella chocolate, Oreo. Oreo times two, pistachio, pistachio times two, variety, baby. It's the spice of life.